Hey everybody, Steve G here for Chef Knives To Go, and uh, a little while back they released a new line of sharpening stones from Shapton, and these are called the Rockstar Series uh, Sharpening Stones, and they've got quite a few different grits available. Um, so I've got the 500 here and the 1000, and I've been playing with them. Uh, there's, I tried to look up a lot of things online about these and various... Um, opinions about the composition of you know what's what they're made out of how they work uh, this one has been using a little bit both of them so they're not going to be completely virgin here so I've got some stains on them just from using and flattening and so on but um, in terms of dimensions they are uh, 210 millimeters by 70 millimeters wide by 10 millimeters thick unlike the Shapton glass stones which have a glass backing and there's uh, and it's the main sharpening substrate is glued to that. These are just all the way through on the back side. It's kind of nice. They've got your logo there with the uh, grit number on there, Shapton. So really easy to tell what's what just by flipping them over. So a little bit thicker in terms of the usable area. Uh, I guess we'll take the other one out as well. Not that it's going to look a whole lot different, but we'll go ahead and take it out. Let's see. Let's make sure we keep these straight here. So left to right, left to right. So basic packaging, nothing fancy. Cardboard container. They do make holders for these, or you can just use a lot of different ways to hold the stones and transport them and so on. So um, looking at some of the opinions online, I just haven't used them myself, and I've got some Shapton glass stones as well. I find they, they feel pretty darn similar, so I don't, I'm not an expert sharpener, but I don't feel a ton of difference between how they cut. They do, the good thing about these, uh, this material, same thing with Shapton glass, is they, they don't load up very much. They, they keep cl pretty clean, easy to clean off, I and mean, they don't load up. They cut well, um, you know, they cut quick, uh, so just nice, not as much feel as stones that might be a little bit softer, a different material, but... You don't need to soak them. They're pretty much splash and go, which I really like. I don't sharpen a ton, so I don't really have a lot of time to just sit there and soak stones. I don't perma-soak anything or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, run a little water over them, maybe soak just a touch, and then pretty much it'll just stay on top, so you don't really need to soak them much at all. Um, again, I find that they are easy to use. They're very similar in feel to, to me, to the Shapton glass. Here's the 1000. Price point on these is nice. They do have on the one side, I didn't show you that on the other, but on the one side they also just have the classification there. See if we can get this thing to focus here. Come on. Focus on there. There you go. Well, it wants to go to the other side. Okay, we'll just do that. So, tells you a little bit about the, the grit. Shapton, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, on the side. Um, and again, the bottom tells you what grit it is. So easy to look at and figure out what it is if you don't keep them in their boxes. So very easy to identify. Again, uh, these are easy to use. They they sharpen quickly. They cut well, and they don't load up. Um, so just nice, easy to use stones. And uh, if you like the Shapton glass, I think you'll like these. Or they're they're good for beginners because they don't gouge easy. Uh, they don't dish too much, although you got to flatten them like anything else. But uh, good quality stones, good price. Uh, again, if somebody's learning to sharpen, I think these would be a good choice for them as well. Um, and uh, there you go. So there's lots of different grits available. These are the two I have played with, and they cut pretty much like Shapton glass in terms of, for me, how they feel, these two different grit equivalents that I have. So this is the Shapton Rockstar line in this particular case, the 500 grit and the 1000 grit from Chef Knives to Go.